Hey there. Um, I'm sure that you, just like me, have been having such a great time playing PoE 2 since it came out. But one of the main issues that I have encountered, um, as well as you, if you are watching this video, is your system randomly hard locking, probably in a loading screen. Um, and I want to show you a quick fix that will help you with that. So, um, just to explain what is happening for you, when you are launching Path of Exile 2 and you are in a loading screen, you. Um, I'm going to pull up a chart here so that you can see. Um, what it looks like. Okay. We had a hitch there, but we're back. Okay. So what happens, you see here, you see the processor pinged at 100%. What will happen is if PoE2 goes into load and pings you at 100% and then has any issues, it will hard lock your system. So I want to show you a simple way to keep the hard lock from happening and also a way to actually recover PoE2 without having to hopefully restart. Um, it's not a perfect solution, but it does work most of the time. So once PoE2 has launched, if you want to go and open Task Manager, the way to do this um, is to right click down at the bottom there and hit Task Manager um, and then right click on Path of Exile and go to Open Details and then click on that again and then hit Set Affinity. So what this is, is this showing you all of your CPU cores. So I have 16, uh, eight core 16 threads. It'll show you all your threads. Um, I don't want PoE to be able to use my entire CPU so that if it does get stuck, it doesn't crash my entire system. So because I have 16 threads and I can afford to do this, I'm going to uncheck the first four. So that is giving me two cores slash four threads um, that PoE2 does not have access to. So if it does hard lock, my system still has some resources um, to use so that I can close PoE and get things back going. Uh, if you have a lower core uh, slash thread count CPU, this is more impactful to your performance, um, but overall on a modern CPU like I have, the 7700X, um, you really won't encounter any issues because in the normal playing of PoE, it's using a max of like 25% of your CPU. Um, the main issue is those loading screens that are jumping you from 25% to 100% and then freezing. So that will stop that. Now, the next thing that you can do if you do encounter a PoE hard lock, um, so the system is still fine, but PoE is freezing on the screen, uh, you can also right click that, set priority, and set it to real time. Now, I do not normally recommend setting this to real time um, because it can, like, don't play the game with it in real time because it actually can cause some issues. Um, but what this does is it allows your system to reschedule and get those um, tasks back on track. Uh, I don't want to go too technical into it because uh, I know that most of you are just gamers and uh, probably not super deep into uh, computer hardware um, and how infrastructure works. But you set it to real time. It should usually allow your system to um, fix those issues and PoE start working in normal again. As soon as PoE continues loading properly, you're going to want to go back in here to set priority. You can set it back to normal. I usually play with it on high, actually, um, so that it's a higher priority for my system. Um, that is safe. Real time is the one that you don't really want to play with it actively set on, um, but it will help you get things back on track. Um, there is a program uh, on GitHub currently being worked on that is a like PoE crash checker um that will do this automatically for you the only unfortunate thing is right now because it's something that changes your cpu affinity and things like that um most browsers and windows defender will see it as a virus and it won't let you download it um so until we kind of find a workaround uh for that um this is the manual way to do it um but yes so hopefully that helps you hopefully that can let you enjoy the game a little bit more just remember, this game is early access. I know it's a huge launch, um, but they are actively working on these things um, and tests 
uh, stress testing. So um, give them a little bit of grace, but also hold them accountable. Uh, these things need to get fixed uh, ASAP. But for now, that is the temporary solution. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in Rayclast.